What's up, scholars? Today we are talking about light. Yes, light. Light is so important. It's important to you. It's important to me. It's important to us. Why? Because without light, we would not be able to see. Yes, have you ever sat in a room and when you turn the switch off and all the light leaves, guess what happens? We say, I can't see. Where are we going? What's going on? Because it's the light in our eyes that allow us to be able to see. Light moves very, 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 very fast. It is a standard form of measure. It is a particle. It travels in waves that we can see. Light is so cool. It's so cool. In fact, that my shirt and my bow tie are different colors. You can see that my bow tie is red, but my shirt is blue. The only reason that happens is because of light. Every other color is being absorbed except for the blue that is reflecting to your eyes. And with my bow tie, every other color is being absorbed except for the reds and the yellows and all of these wonderful, wonderful colors. And I love me some bow ties. You should know that by now because I wear them every day and without light my bow tie collection would be boring yes it would be boring because they would all look the same i'd only need one bow tie i would only need one bow tie but there's another really really cool characteristics of light that we are going to talk about today and that characteristic is that light it travels in a straight line how can we prove it? I'm so glad you asked. I'm so glad that you asked. I love it when you ask me to prove stuff. I just, I really appreciate that. It's just, it's awesome to me for you to ask me to prove what I believe. Everybody should be able to prove what they believe with facts and facts and facts. And today we're going to prove that light travels in a straight line. How are we gonna do that, Mr. Washington? I'm so glad you asked. We're gonna use our fancy little radar, and I'm sure you've seen these before because these are the, I said radar, this is our little laser, little laser light, and you know one click will do the regular light and another click does the red laser, the little dot, right? And we never shine this in our eyes, never shine it in somebody else's eyes, it's not good for our eyes. Our eyes are very sensitive and we have to take care of them because as far as science is concerned right now, we only get one pair. Okay, so we've got our lights, we've got our lights, and now we have to try to prove that light travels in a straight line. Well, what's one really, really cool way to do that? Well, I can actually take this, and if it travels in a straight line, I should be able to shoot this laser directly into the camera, like literally right where you are. I should be able to point this at you and shoot it, and you should be able to see it on the camera screen. Do you think I can do it? I know you do, because you know Mr. W is going to try it. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to click it. I can definitely see it on my screen. Now let's see if I can get it into your screen. Oh, there it is. Do you see it? Of course you see it. I am pointing this directly at the camera, and it is shining directly in the camera. It looked like a movie scene was opening when I came back. It was like, oh, yes. Is that not cool? Light travels in a straight line, but... That's probably not enough proof for most of you. We need to try something else. How do you know that the light was going straight? Well, let's limit it. Let's limit it to where it can't go anywhere outside of these. I'm actually gonna stick the light in here now, and the only way I'm gonna be able to duplicate that process is if this light is traveling straight enough to go all the way down the tube and out the other side. So when I do it, Oh, wrong one. See if we can get it. I'm going to point towards the camera. There we go. And here we go. Let's see if we can get it. And... See it? Oh, it's not straight. There it is. There it is. Here I come back, I'm coming back, I'm focusing. The light traveled in a straight line. Was that not cool? Oh my goodness. But you know what? Some of you are still not believers. You're not. You said that little short thing 
Nobody's worried about that little short thing. Mr. Washington, in order for you to truly prove it, you'd have to get something way longer than that. You couldn't use that little short. Nobody's worried about that little, ooh, what? I'll let you boy, yes. Let's try one more time, okay? So let's make sure it's straight. See if you can see my eye in there. And touching, you see my eye. I'm blinking right now, I'm blinking. And here comes the light. Let's see if we can get it down there. I'm gonna do the white light this time. Whoa, look at that. Is that not cool? Light travels in a straight line and it can travel all the way down this tube directly into the camera, like right there. Boom, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha, and I gotcha. Coming back. Is that not awesome? Not only does light travel in a straight line, a straight line that we can see, a straight line that we can measure, but this is something else that's really, really cool. It's because of the fact that light travels in straight lines that I can take this box and I can show you that light travels in a straight line is the reason that we even have our shadows. Now, here's another way to prove that light travels in a straight line. Now, you see behind this spoon over here, we've got our box, right? and then we have our light that's gonna shine. When I shine this light on this spoon, I want you to watch what happens. Do you see that? How, that at that shadow. Well, why is that shadow there? Well, because light travels in a straight line, some of the light is hitting this spoon and it's actually being reflected back. So all of the space behind the spoon, what we call a shadow, is blocked, so there's no light there. And that's how shadows are created. Shadows are created because light travels in a straight line. And watch this. The closer I get to the spoon, the more light that's being blocked. Look how big it is. And then the further away, the less light that... Whoa, this is awesome. Light travels in a straight line. And we can prove it. We can prove it. We can prove it. We can prove it. We've proved it over and over and over again. I keep focusing in and focusing out. It's like, no, no. Scientists, you guys are amazing. The next time somebody asks you, does light travel in a straight line? And then you'll say, of course it travels in a straight line. And they're gonna say, well, prove it. All you have to do is get in front of something. All you have to do is show them your shadow. All you have to do is block the, oh, look at it, look at it. Light travels in a straight line. Look at my head. Boop, 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 ah, boop. Yes, we are scientists. We are learning. We are having some fun. Scientists, you guys are amazing. And girls are amazing. Hope you had an absolutely wonderful lesson of science. Remember, light is amazing. Light is wonderful. Light is necessary to many of the things that we do in life. Light is the reason that we can see. Light is the reason that we have colors. Light, we'll talk about later, is the reason that my glasses work. Light is so important. But one of the characteristics of light that we learned today is that light travels in a straight line. Have an absolutely wonderful day, and we will be back on soon with more amazing science.